I have with me. He's back. Patrick Rooney is here. Patrick Rooney is here. And uh, Patrick Rooney is the founder of PRRooney.com, a YouTuber, blogger, and the author of Greek physique. Greek physique. If you want a Greek physique, call Patrick Rooney. And I wanted to talk to Patrick about a few things here. Patrick, good morning, sir. Good morning, Jesse. How are you? All is well. How you doing, sir? Good. Looks like everything's changed. You got a new background. You got a new. You got your new old music. Stand up. You're, how long have you been using stand, stand up? A uh, couple weeks, right? Yeah. A couple weeks, I think. It's so retro. And from the 1991. I know. Amazing. I remember that song. I said, what? Cool. I remember that song. Yeah, you like it? Uh, you want me to be honest? No, lie to me. Tell I me love lies. It. Tell me sweet little lies. Tell me the I lies. I love this song. Jesse, I love it. Oh, good. Thank you. Are those yoga pads behind you? Uh, that is a yoga pad. That is a rolling pad, a foam roller oh. for old people to roll out their mess. Oh, and then, and then I've got a, uh, some stuff for uh, push-ups and dips. And then I've got some uh, bands, you know, for uh, bodybuilding on the road. In the um, in the uh, in your latest article, prrooney.com, yes, you wrote sir. about the twelve leading causes of death in the U.S. Uh, what are the twelve? At least some of them. The twelve. Give me the top ones first. Okay. Twelve leading causes of death in the U.S. Yeah, they're pretty scary. They actually, the two top ones are the most like uh, the two top ones by themselves bring up 46% of the whole 12. And that first one is heart disease. Heart, heart disease is the first and cancer is the second. And they bring up 46% right there. Amazing. Yeah. And why are so many people uh, uh, getting cancer and uh, heart disease? Well, I mean, there's a lot of reasons for it. But um, one of the things that I said in the article is one of the things people don't do is they don't keep themselves in shape. And believe it or not, uh, cancer is actually correlated with your body fat. So if you've got, uh, you've got a high degree of body fat, you're more likely to get cancer, for instance. I'm surprised at the number of women who are having heart diseases issue, yeah. disease issue. When I was growing up, that was unheard of. I don't know anybody, no woman that had a heart disease or a stroke. Or, and now women, more women are having them uh, than Probably as men, I don't know the stats, but yeah. a lot of women are having heart disease. Yeah, and, and the thing is, as you've talked about on your show, and your and your listeners are well aware, men's roles and women's roles have been changing for a long time. Yeah. And so the more that women act like men and do men-related things and take on all the stresses of men, guess what? They're going to go up in, in having heart attacks because they're acting the way men did. Or acting the way they think men are acting. Because well, right. a woman has to force her way to act like a man, whereas a man act like a man naturally. There's no That's stress true. behind it. That's uh, true. And speaking of men, they have a new device that they're coming up with where men they want men to start breastfeeding. You hear about that? Uh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I su- would see a man breastfeeding. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen that yet in public. Yeah, we have that story coming up for you. Really? Yeah. Um, but I, I, what I do see, I was walking around the other day, and I saw guys carrying their baby, like their young, like their young kids. Yeah. It, it, they're walking around like this, carrying their kids in their arms. The men are. Yeah. Walking walk the streets, and the women are walking around with just little bags or, 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 or empty-handed. It's a, it's, a, it's a dangdest thing. I saw the Europeans doing this, but this is, I'm sure, something that Americans are doing now, too. Amazing. This device, what it is, is something like the men put on like a, 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 a fake breast. Like it's a fake <laughs> chest, and the chest has breasts, and it has a little nipple thing on it. No. And I guess they must pour milk in there or something. Oh, my and God. And then the man opened up his shirt and let the baby suck the, the nipple fake nipple like it's a real nipple. I don't know why are men willing to become women? How come they're not fighting to stay men to become, you know, it, why it are they does, giving it up? 
it doesn't seem like there's any bottom to this either. It's like you could do the men could be uh, talked into doing the craziest stuff today, and it, there doesn't seem to be any limit to it. I know that's amazing. What are the couple? Uh, another. Oh, let me let me let me bring up the other one, Jesse. Yeah. Because I named I named number one was heart disease. Number two is cancer. Right. So, uh, as I mentioned, uh, body fat is related to cancer. Also, sugar. Well, I, I, I didn't get into deeply in the article, but I have in the past in some of my other articles that are at prrooney.com. Cancer is majorly related to sugar, and I see people around me all the time eating like sugar, like it's going out of style. All it does is feed their cancer cells. Why is it that now cancer, sugar is being blamed for cancer, one of the blames for cancer? When I was growing up, we ate sugar all the time. Ain't yeah. nobody got no cancer. Yeah, and that, the no relationship. Don't live to be 100 and something years old. Miss Sugar lived to be 100 and something. Miss Sugar? <laughs> the, the, <laughs> Miss Jesse. C Girl, she lived to be old, 100 get, and let, something. Let me Ms, give you the answer. Miss, Miss, uh. <laughs> you, you gonna keep naming? Are you gonna keep naming and claiming, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> and they uh, had sugar. They, took, they ate sugar all the time. Okay, okay, here's the difference. Back in the day, we used to run that off. OK, kids can have a lot of sugar, right? They're running it off. People who have a good training programs, a lot of them use a pretty high degree of carbohydrates, which turns into sugar. And those people who are running it off and burning it off are burning it off. Right. Imagine somebody uh, running a marathon race. What do they do when they're running through there and they need something? They grab some orange juice some mixture of orange right. juice and water, something like that, some Gatorade. Yeah. OK, that's got a lot of sugar in it. But the reason they're able to is because they're burning it off. But today, people are sitting on their butts. They're not out there getting exercise. And that sugar that's being put into their body as energy is just sitting there. It's not being used up. And therefore, it's being eat, being turned into other things. And that's how, you know, how it's getting a hold of cancer. That's amazing. My Aunt Nook, she died two weeks ago. She ate sugar. She was 90 some years old. Yeah, and but she, she had 15 kids. But Jesse, you're from the South. People used to work uh, yeah. the land. Yeah. You were you were picking cotton, as you you've said before. Uh, plying the mule, pulling corn, sweet potato, peanuts, shaking peanuts. <laughs> yeah, everything. So that's all, that's all hard work, and it burns off energy. Yeah. And, and if you go, when you go to the gym, guess what? When you're done with your workout, what do you want? You want some carbohydrates right. and stuff to place that that sugar and glycogen in your body. Yep, that's true. Two two different worlds. And and um, so the top five leading causes for death. Okay. So number uh, one is heart disease. Number yep. two is cancer. Yep. Number three is what? Accidents. Accidents are are accidents. People having accidents. Car accidents or any kind. Well, of all accident? all sorts of accidents. And one of those things I talked about uh, that I'm talking about related to my article is the fact that older people, when they get older, they tend to have can have accidents. And if you have an accident as an older person and you're not in good shape, guess what? That can lead to the end of you because you fall down, you yeah. break a hip or something like that. You never come back sometimes. So that's one of the things I tied into um, the exercise that I'm talking about in the Greek yoga video that I'm talking about is older people need to have balance. They need to work their muscles. They need to work their energy. They need to work their heart to make it stronger. But they also need to work their balance. And if you don't work your balance, you're going to be in trouble, especially as an older person. That's amazing. Um, and then, so that's number four, right? Uh, that was number three. Okay, number the, four? Number four is chronic lower respiratory disease. And that is uh, actually, people get that from smoking, for one thing. That's a huge way people get that. Um, and then number five, the fifth one that you're asking about is a stroke, Jesse. And you know what? Stroke is related to blood pressure. So yeah. people have yeah. to get their blood pressure under control. One of the ways is a, a diet and exercise. Yeah. And if they don't, they are much more uh, liable to get a stroke. Amazing. Yeah. And the people can read the rest of them by going to prrooney.com. We're running out of time, but I want to ask you a few more questions, if you don't mind. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, what age are most people dying at? I don't know the age that most people are. What, what do you mean most people are I dying? Mean, are they dying people? like, yeah, are they dying middle age, old age, young age? Are they living long nowadays or what? I, I don't know the answer to that. What I can say is that I do notice that people younger and younger are getting old in a certain way. In yeah. other words, I've had clients that are at the age of 30. 
I mean, just 30, that's so young to us, right? Yeah. But they're at the age of 30 and they're already going to pot. Maybe they're not smoking pot yet, but they're going literally <laughs> to pot. Pot yeah. bellies, yeah. out of shape. Uh, they're starting to, their blood pressure's going up. So I'm saying that people are getting old if they don't take care of themselves at the age of 30, and I've seen it. So what can people do to prolong their lives? Well, one thing is the things that you teach, Jesse, uh, meditation, uh, uh, prayer, you talk about the, your silent yeah. prayer, which is great. I, I recommend everyone do that. Observation. Uh, observation. Yeah. People need to do something to chill out, first of all, because right. they're, they're just freaking out, first of all, and, and going into depressions and all sorts of things. Uh, suicides. Suicides are going through the roof. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So they can do that. They need to obviously eat better. They need to get their, their diet under control. You can't, if you want to eat sugar and drink uh, colas all day, Coke, cola all day long, you can do it, but you better be running like crazy if you're going to think about something like that. And the third thing is you need to get in shape. I mean, you, uh, in, like we said in the old days in the South, people were just working the land. I don't see too many people working the land anymore. <laughs> I'm in the South and I don't work the land right now. <laughs> so if you're not working the land, you better get your behind out, out, out of the, out up, up and out to a gym or, or even out to your own place, create your own gym. I've got my own gym that I've created, which is cool. Yeah. You've got to do something. You've got to do something regularly and be on it. And you've got to have good habits. You also have to sleep. Got to get some sleep in there. You can't just run around on three hours of sleep. Not everybody's Donald How Trump. How much right? sleep? How much? It's different for everybody, but you're going to know what it is. I mean, there's people that go all the way from four to probably about eight. The average is right about seven. Joel is sleeping now. He black. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <That's> a... <laughs> I see it in your chat room. People love to talk about he black. Poor Joel. <laughs> uh, uh, do you? I don't know if you agree with me on about this or not. Do you agree right. that we were not created to die? That we were created to physically live forever? I do know that if you take care of yourself in the proper way, I, and it's been proven that the body will regenerate itself. Right. And so it seems to me that's true. I've seen some things in the Bible that saying that people used to live to a thousand or whatever. Yeah. And then at some point, God shortened it to 120 years. I don't know well, the truth of that. I do know, again, I believe in the regeneration. So if you're not moving, I think the key is, and you've done this in your observation exercise, Jesse, the key is you want to have as few moving parts as possible inside you. You don't want to be freaked out inside you because that moves everything quickly. Right. And as soon as your mind starts moving, your heart will start moving and everything goes to hell. But you need to be, you almost need to be inside like a, uh, the eye of a hurricane. You're moving on the outside and you need movement, but inside you need stillness. And that's the way people regenerate. My last question, I, I'm often told that when we work out, we're supposed to get the heart beating fast. Yeah. I mean, bring the heart rate up or something, they said. And yeah. that bring the heart rate up, heart rate up, helps you lose weight. How does the heart rate help you lose weight? Well, the heart rate only helps you lose weight. First of all, it's a muscle, so you're building the muscle, which is very important. But you're only, you're only losing weight because as the heart rate goes up, you're burning calories. That's all. So oh. you're, you're, you're burning calories and you're, and, and you're going to take your, your fat down and, and, and your, uh, your weight down from that. And I got to ask you this. And if you don't want to answer, you don't have to. <laughs> we <laughs> answer you, all questions here. What do you think about the great white hope thus far? And do you believe he will be reelected 2020? Well, uh, if you're talking about tr Trump. Yes. The great white hope. <laughs> As if I don't know that. President Trump. That's right. Uh, tr I love Trump so far. Uh, I, I think that no matter how great somebody is, though, we always have to be watching to make sure that things are being done correctly. And anything that isn't being done, we got to put the pressure on as people because we are in charge. Uh, but I love Trump. Trump is the best president we've had in, in decades. I mean, he's one of the greatest all-time presidents there is. Do so he's great. Whether he'll be reelected or not, I believe at this point he will be because the the Democrats ha are now captive to the socialist wing of their party. Yeah, I used to say the that socialist, again. The socialists are taking them off the cliff, which is really stupid uh, electorally. So uh, they are basically taking themselves out of the picture for 2020 unless they radically change. I don't think they're going to change. Uh, do you agree with me? The wall going up. Yeah, I heard uh, Ann Coulter was asking, like, where's the longitude and the latitude of the wall and all this stuff? 
Well, first of all, I don't think you want to tell people exactly where the wall's going up. Just We just need to know that it's going up. The wall going up. And I believe the wall is going up, and thank God for that. I mean, we, we've we gotten a reprieve in this country with Donald Trump as president. Yeah. I'm very happy to support him, and everybody should be supporting him, because if you don't support him, the other side right now is absolutely crazy. They're nothing like the Democrats that were back in the 40s. My parents were Democrats. They, were, they grew up in the re- Depression. They were nothing like these kind of Democrats. They actually loved America. And where are your parents now? Uh, the same, <laughs> you're setting me up, aren't you? <laughs> Hopefully in a good spot, Jesse. Hopefully they're in a good place right now. I'll rest my case. There you go. Uh, so your website, once again, Patrick, is? PRRooney.com, PRRooney.com. They can get all sorts of stuff. I do fitness and health. I do, uh, I do independence, living more independently. Uh, I do uh, culture. I'm really big on culture. So I've got videos. I've got blogs. I've got all that stuff. And, of course, I've got my video there. Uh, can I p- uh, pump the video a little bit? Absolutely. Okay, I have a new video called, I invented something called Greek yoga, which is really, really Greek cool. Greek physique. <laughs> but Greek yoga was a little bit difficult for people on the first video we did. So what I did is I completely changed it. I just slowed down the tempo. Tempo. I'm showing everything exactly. I'm explaining everything. And I put the new video out there now. So I've got a new video out there. You go to my site and see it's called Greek Yoga for Beginners. And anybody can do it, just about anybody. Anybody right. who can move around, do some level of exercise can do it. It'll, it'll pump your heart, uh, get your heart stronger. It will make you stronger. It will make you more powerful. It will give you better balance, which I talked about earlier. So you don't, you know, it's, you don't fall as you get older. And it works your cardio. It works all these things at the same time. You can do a, 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 an ex, one program. I've, I've broken it into three different exercises. You can do each one. It only takes about 15 minutes. So there's no longer any excuse to exercise, guys. I, I've created the uh, yoga. Right the, on. It, PRRooney.com. Yeah. And you say you're showing everything on this video? Well, uh, <laughs> what, what does that mean? <laughs> Not everything. <laughs> you say you're showing everything. I don't mean I'm like sure that. everybody want to see that. All right, get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> PRRooney.com for YouTuber, blogger, and the author of Greek Physique. Thank you, Patrick. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jesse. Thanks for having me on. All right, buddy. Wish you well. All right, you too. Thank you. All right. Amazing.